on iShade and I want to give you a, a, a background to iShade, why we partnered with them and then give you an introduction to iShade so that you can get in there and, and make the most of a, a ton of benefits that are available. Any point that you do have any questions, please do ask those um, along the way and I'll do my best to answer them. In terms of CPE, this is this does qualify for CPE uh, and if you have people attending the webinar that need CPE, make sure that they fill in the survey response or email me their names and email addresses so I can include them in the CPE list and we'll try and get that done uh, this afternoon or tomorrow once we've got everybody's responses. So keep an eye out for an email which will arrive uh, in the next, I think it's about an hour after the webinar which has a survey that does all those NASBA questions um, and then make sure you email me the uh, the other attendees that were present in the room. I also need most people, well, I, if you do need CPE, I need you to fill in the uh, the survey questions as well. So just keep an eye out for those. But let's talk about iShade. Um, why did we, 2020 Group, partner with iShade? The folks at iShade came to us, uh, and a couple of the folks behind that are Jeff, uh, Jeff Paulo, Charles Hyland, Lisa Benson, some very well-respected names in the accounting profession, and they wanted to create a web, uh, an online web presence just for accountants. So there were a lot of social media platforms popping up, and Facebook is very individual and very personal. LinkedIn is very professional, uh, but it's about linking with other professionals. There was nowhere really that CPAs and accountants could go and uh, could go and and network and um, ask each other questions and. Uh, find out information about what are some of the best practices. So they created iShade. It was on our agenda of to-dos, uh, and then we uh, had a, a, a fortuitous meeting with the folks at iShade, and they showed us what they were what they had planned, and we decided to partner with them, and then give our input into it so that it could become a, a much uh, stronger web presence for CPAs. Think of it as LinkedIn on, on steroids just for CPAs. So that's what we're talking about. Let's get the, uh, let's, let's start with just getting into iShade. And you can do that from our 2020 website. So we click on that sign in button. And in this instance, I'm going to use uh, a separate account. That's gmail.com and when I do that when I click sign in that is going to take me directly to the 2020 group USA page so this is our landing page for 2020 group USA and that's coming up on your screen now and this is where we can go and get into uh, to all the resources that are available as premium members and as regular members now if when you do launch that, you don't, um, you don't see all of this information down here, what it means is you're probably not a member of this group yet. So you need to look on the right hand side here in this section, and I might see if I can get a, uh, what have we got, a spotlight there. Let's see if that works. Might need to look in this section here where there will be a link for join this group. So click on join this group and that will give you access to the uh, 2020 Group USA sections. So once we're there, we can now come into the resources section and that, uh, we can then now come into this resources section. Now this is really important folks, the resources section is down here just above announcements and it's here in that resources section that you will find all the 2020 Group USA resources. So for example, the Wealth Management Circle of Life, uh, the Trading Through Tough Times seminar system. So as you can see, you're able to scroll through the various different resources. Here's a trap for young players. A lot of folks go to this resources tab up here, this green resources tab. That is not where the 2020 group resources are. So if you're looking for a thank you letter, the Circle of Life, uh, engagement letters, it's going to be in this resources section. Now, another great thing that we can do is we can come over to this Conversations tab and we can come over here and if you have any questions for, uh, for, for 2020 Group, for fellow 2020 Group members, you can post them into this section here. So as you can see, 
there's been a question already about email encryption. And what that means is somebody has asked, wondering if 2020 is recommending a product to its members for encrypted email and documents. And here are, here are our responses to that question. So we get a lot of questions that come in on a one-on-one -on -one basis just via email, and we will typically try to post as many of these questions into the discussion area just so we can share all of that information. So I'd, I'd, I really would like this discussion topics to become a really valuable resource for our members and where members can ask questions. So if you do have any questions at any time, you can either email them to us directly, or alternatively, you can click on this start a new topic. Now. What about the premium resources where we're talking about the Accountants Direct Marketing Kit, the new business kit? What you'll want to be doing there is you'll want to be going into the premium members section. And this is slightly different to the other section, whereas anyone can join that 2020 Group USA. Whereas the premium resources, the new business kit, the Accountants Direct Marketing Kit, social media kit, which we're still finalizing, uh, as well as the engagement letters and the tax organizers, they are in this 2020 Group USA Premium section. Now, if you come to this page and you don't see what we had before with the announcements and the discussion topics and that resources tab, it means you're not a member of this group. So you're going to have to join this group. Now, all Premium members, when you click on that Join This Group, you've all received an access code. Uh, in previous emails. Now, depending on whether or not you've gone ahead and, and joined the group, if you haven't, that access code may have expired. Uh, but just check your email to see if there's an access code in there. If not, just click on this send request. And all that's going to do is that's going to send a request to us at 2020 Group. That's going to say, Damien Greathead has requested to join the 2020 uh, Group Premium section give us a day or two because we'll need to go in and verify that you're a member in good standing, etc. So that's how you get there. What, what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to log out. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to the 2020 Group USA page. So, and then sign in as myself. Importantly, off this 2020groupusa.com page, down the bottom of this sign-in drop-down box, we can see the click here, if you've forgotten your iShade username and password. We went out and actually set up all username and passwords for 2020 Group Premium members. So it's quite likely that you do have an account. If you missed that email, which where we advised you about that, probably your best bet is just to click here and then enter your email address and go through that prompt section. If you do have any questions, shoot me an email and we'll get you moving up and uh, quickly. If it comes back and says there is no uh, account associated with this email address, we want to go to this link down here that says create an iShade account here. So just click on that and then that will open you up uh, and you can create the account where we're just looking for some basic information initially. So I'm going to sign into this. And while we are signing in, why don't we ask a poll question where we'll ask, do you have an iShade account that you know of? So let's uh, launch that. And again, let's uh, make sure everyone, if you require CPE, just respond to that. Um, do you have an iShade account? I probably should have asked, are you using your iShade account as well? So it looks as if we've got 80% voted, Will, a few folks. So it's, as I said, if you're a 2020 Premium member, it's quite likely that we created an account for you. We did email you a notification of that in uh, November and December. But worst case scenario, just give me a call and we'll do our best to, uh, to move you in the right direction. But if you don't have an account, just create an account and uh, then join this group, as, as I said. So let's uh, close that poll, 100% voted, fantastic. And we've got 90% saying yes, they have an account, and 10% saying no. So those 10% just shoot me an email, and uh, we'll get you up and running. So we're back on the 2020 Group USA page. For all the premium members online, you can then come down halfway down the page to our subgroup section, where we see 2020 premium members. And again, it's the same layout that we have in the previous group. And all we're doing here is, again, conversations, so any announcements for premium members, we'll post them here. Uh, any discussion topics, there's more uh, 
There's more discussion topics here to do with the new business kit, to do with scanning equipment, employee reviews. Uh, so you can ask your questions there as well. Also, we a reminder, we come to this resources tab, which is uh, halfway down the group profile. And so, for example, let's go and have a look at that short form tax organizer, which uh, I emailed everyone about, I think, January 2 or, or last week. So here's that resource for you. So this is where we come in and, and there's a quick description here and then we can view the PDF version and we can download the customizable tax organizer. So that's the way in which you access all the resources. You come to that resources tab, go to the required resource and you'll see on your screen I hope here is the Word version of the 2012 Tax Income Organizer. And you can go in there, you can edit all the information that you need to, obviously take out our logo, take out our contact details, put your own in, make any changes that uh, you feel appropriate, and then send it off to the printer. But just wanted to quickly show you how you go about downloading those resources. You'll also see up here we can retrace our steps at any one time. So up here we have Home, Groups, 2020 Group USA, 2020 Group USA Premium, Resources, Short Form Tax Organizer. So at any stage that we need to, rather than going back, for example, we can just retrace our steps. But again, just the, the key thing uh, that we do want to work on is that our resources are within the resource group of the 2020 group, not this green tab. We'll go and have a look at the uh, all the other resources that are available as, as a member of iShade, but the 2020 premium um, resources, click on that resources tab, which is about halfway down the screen. Uh, we had a question that's come in. Does each person on the team need a different iShade account? Um, or can we just have one for the firm? Good question, Tim. And I would recommend as an individual, each individual creates their own profile because that means that, Tim, you can ask your questions. Michelle, you can ask your questions. And we'll see very shortly also, um, Tim, you might have different expertise than Michelle. And when you set up your individual profile, you can express those different expertise. So if somebody's looking for your particular expertise in your particular area, you'll be coming up rather than, um, rather than Michelle. And you can network directly. So I would recommend that each individual creates their own profile. Uh, because what we'll go and see very shortly is that we'll then be able to create a firm profile and a firm intranet that we can invite our own people to. So I would suggest uh, creating an individual profile for each person. So I hope that at least introduces you to where you can find the 2020 resources. And at any stage, if you need help, just give us a call and we'll do our best. But the number one thing is the resources tab is within the group profile. Uh, that's where you're going to find all the 2020 resources. So as a segue, why don't we go and have a look at how we create our profile. So once we've created an, uh, 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 a login information, we come up to this top section up here and the top right question, uh, top right box where it says, welcome, Damien Greathead, and we click on the Mo My Profile button. I'll just wait for that to come over to your screen. And now, this is, this is all about me. Um, and what, I, what my goal is now is to fill this out as completely as possible so that if anyone is searching for my expertise, uh, my skills, my uh, presentations, my blog, they will be able to find it. So once we've got the uh, profile details here, we click on this Manage My Profile. Manage My Profile is in the top right of the profile details. And again, we'll just wait for that to come through. But the goal here is to get in as much specific information as possible. Uh, and again, because we want to make it easier for people searching for our skills to find us. And we already have had a couple of situations where members have said, Damien, I'm looking for a member in Kansas. Are there any members in Kansas or with a, 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 an expertise in auto dealers? And if we fill out this information, it means that other members can find you and your expertise. So profile, fairly uh, obvious there. Then we scroll down to this section 
where we talk about what our role is. We then scroll down even further. Now this is where this is important because we're talking about the industry serve that you as an individual serve and then any of your service specialties. We'll be able to do this later for a firm as well, but here is where we're just talking about me. And so that's really important that we fill that in as much as possible. Um, and also, if you consider yourself an expert in any particular field, you can nominate yourself for a uh, for a, a panel of experts if you want to participate in that. So, for example, if you're a, an expert in forensic accounting and litigation services, you might indicate that, which means that if anyone has questions about forensic accounting and litigation, then you'll be coming up in the search results. So, more information the better and uh, that's going to help us build our profile. So we just work our way across the tabs here. We can fill in work history. Now here's a good point. We can decide who this is actually visible to. Uh, the profile we can't, but work history, education, uh, the vitae, so if there's any particular awards, any particular speaking presentations or published articles that you, that you do have, you can enter those here. Uh, and then also you might just want to enter your personal quote, interests and hobbies as well. But again, you can decide on who that is, uh, you can decide on, on who actually sees any of that. So what we want to do is we want to get into our profile and we can navigate to our profile there and this allows us to go through and edit that. So I'd, I'd encourage you to take some time. We don't need to be adding this profile and, and going into uh, the Magna Carta and describing ourselves. Just a quick description, just so people get a sense of who you are, where you are, uh, and what your expertise are. Who are the folks that you work with? Let's have a look over here at this settings button as well, because my profile, this is where we update everything. Settings, again, up in the top right, just below Welcome Damien Greathead. If we click on that, here is where we decide uh, if we need to change our username. If we want to change our password, we can do that here. Uh, this is where we can also say what is my homepage. When you sign in to 2020 Group US, or when you sign into iShade via 2020 Group USA, it will always come up straight to the 2020 Group landing page. If you log into iShade separately via iShade.com, you can dictate where you want, uh, where you would like to um, your homepage to be. The other section here is that email alerts, which some folks may have been getting. Uh, already I hope and you can decide how often you want that to happen just like LinkedIn just like Facebook you can decide on the uh, the intervals at which that happens and and I suggest either do a daily email digest or a weekly email digest just to save our inbox getting bombarded anytime something happens uh, within iShade and, and I would recommend exactly the same thing for um, for your LinkedIn profile, for Twitter, for for uh, for Facebook as well. So that's where we look at my profile and my settings up in the top right. What I want to do now is I want to work our way from left to right across this bar here and just show you some of those benefits that are available to you as members of of iShade and also as members of uh, of 2020 Group USA. So let's click on dashboard and this is nice because what this does is this tells us um, everything that's going on so at our quick dashboard here we've got here are the updates and alerts so for example Greg Felber has requested to join 2020 Group USA Premium I'll have to log in to our uh, CRM make sure Greg and I no doubt is a member in good standing and then I'll go through and approve that as as needed. Also, a new group's been posted. If I'm not interested in that, do you expect an overall economic condition? I'm not interested. I can just close that um, as I'm working, just to make sure I'm ticking off my updates and alerts. Um, Mark Kiner, one of the, the members of iShade, he's created a new group announcement titled Social Security Updates. So all we're saying here is an opportunity for you to see what's going on. And you can navigate, oh, we've got to recover the web page. You can navigate across these top bars as well. So this is all the alerts that have happened in my firm. And we'll go and have a look at that soon because it's an interesting opportunity that we can use iShade 
as our own internal intranet. So if you don't already have an intranet, this is a free service for you that you can create your own intranet, you can put up your, uh, your documents, you can put up your calendar, you can put up announcements. Uh, there's also, we'll go and see very shortly, um, we'll go and see that we can just put what our status is. So I'm out to lunch, I'm in a meeting, I'm in the office. Uh, if, if you don't have a, a firm intranet, this is really valuable. Uh, we go along here, we look, for example, so that three new groups have been added or three different activities. Uh, we can also come down to this what's new section. And what I love here is we can go into this what's new. Let's have a look at what's new resources. And here are all the different things that have been added to iShade. Not just 2020 resources, but all the things added to the greater iShade community. So that means, for example, an in-depth look at taxpayer relief or an in-depth look at the additional 9% Medicare tax. And let's go and have a look at that. And Parker Tax Publish Publishing, they've posted uh, an in-depth look at the additional 0.9% Medicare tax. So this is just available to you as a resource that you can now download, have a read of, make some comments, contact Shannon if you have any questions, and or, or Tracy rather, if you have any questions just to clarify different things. But these resources are incredibly valuable and I'd really encourage you to get in there and have a look at them. So we can come along and just see what all the, the latest resources are. So we might just come in once a week and just see what the latest resources are so that we can go in, just brush up on anything that catches our fancy. Blog posts as well. So I think uh, most most professionals that have a blog which impacts the accounting profession, not accountants out to their clients, but a blog that impacts the accounting profession, they are tied into iShade. So this can act as your aggregator, if you will, of everything accounting for you. So that's, uh, that's actually pretty cool that allows you to do that. Uh, so you can go through and just see what the latest blog posts are, anything which takes your fancy, you can uh, go ahead and click on that and it'll take you directly to the blog post. So that there is the, uh, the dashboard and it's a great way just to come in and just check, just see what the latest updates are. Just spend five minutes on that front page, anything that takes you fancy. You can read it, download it, link to it, uh, forward it to somebody or alternatively, nothing there catches my fancy so I, I don't need to go into uh, iShare today. Let's move across to the bulletin here. This is where we're looking at headlines from around the profession and again, a really valuable um, information aggregator. So what we're trying to do here is we're just looking at what is today's top news and the, uh, the faculty at iShade, and you can go on and have a look at who they are, they recommend different articles on a regular basis. So here is today's top news that's going to be coming in from the AICPA, coming in from accounting today. So you can uh, get in and see all the top news. Alternatively, you can subscribe to news channels. So we might want to look at legislation and regulation. We can subscribe to that. Okay, why didn't that, there we go. Oh, resubscribe and doesn't seem, yep. So now we've signed up, if you will, to the legislation and regulation channel. We also might want to sign up to technology and, uh, and software. And so when we're signed up, again, it's just an information aggregator that allows us to see what the, the latest updates, the latest information is. So we can come and see five common security pitfalls and what your firm can, can do. Uh, Tim, looks like you've got your hand raised. If you wanted to, I'm not sure if that was because you had a question earlier that we answered, but uh, just pop that into the question section. And so this one takes us to accounting today. We'll skip that ad, trying to get us to buy something. And then is IT safe? So five common security pitfalls and what your firm can do to protect yourself. There's so much information out there, folks. So iShade is just really helping us to aggregate what we're interested in. And that opens up in another page, takes us directly there. So that's a really useful tool just to keep us focused. We've got so many different things that we're doing every day um, let's just make sure um, if we're if we're dedicating five minutes to iShade a day, let's make sure we get the most out of iShade. 
conversations. This is fairly straightforward. We won't spend too much time on that uh, because this is just emails coming in and out uh, from from people to me via iShade. So this is different to your inbox. And, and one of the good things that I like about this is it doesn't copy your inbox as well, whereas LinkedIn does. So I just come into conversations and make sure I've got all of these uh, answered or replied to and I can delete those but again it just allows me to separate uh, there's so many different things coming into my email um, that it's very easy for me just to, to click delete or move them to another folder whereas I know that the conversations within iShade are going to be very specific to the accounting profession and given we work with the accounting profession these are the important conversations to be tracking Here's my network. Here is where we start to see some really interesting and some great functionality within iShade. And our goal is to build our network because we can see Jeff Martinson. He's, uh, he's requested to join my, my network. I like Jeff, so we're going to approve Jeff. So now Jeff's in my network. Now, if a client ever calls me, uh, just think of this as a from a, a CPA's perspective for our CPA firm, and they say, Damien, we've got a client who has a, who has auto dealerships, and they've got one in Kansas. Is there anyone in your network that does auto dealerships in Kansas? So there's going to be a bit of a test here to see if I actually do have anyone, but I can come and click on Kansas. I can look for industries served. Let's go auto dealers, and I can select that. And then I can apply the filter and think, oh, look at that, nobody there. Let's try another one. Let's, get, let's go California. California, who's indicated that they, within my network, oh, this isn't working at all. Let's just clear that filter. I should have tested that one. I wonder why. Anyway, but let's just, for example, I'm looking for a CPA in California. Apply the filter. And here are all the CPAs within my network that, uh, that are here. So I can directly send a message to them. So if I need help in a particular area, I can directly message them. And that becomes really helpful as your network grows. So that's one of the key things about building your network. And going back to the earlier question is why, you would why it's better to create your own profile versus uh, an individual profile versus others for the firm or just one for the firm. So that's network. Uh, this is, let's go over to the firm section. And this is pretty exciting. This allows you to A, build a firm profile that other people, other accountants, other accounting firms around the world can find. And it also allows you to build your own firm uh, intranet. So, for example, as we're seeing here, anyone that's a member of my firm, and I can invite members by clicking on this, uh, this link here, I can start discussion topics. I can put my frequently asked questions here. Any announcements, I can post them here. So, for example, if uh, as of uh, January 28, we now move to a 70-hour work week, I can post that announcement here, and then that gets distributed to everyone that is a member of our firm. Any firm events that are coming up, you can put those in here as well. And this is that intranet idea that all the firm information is kept in this one spot. And now iShade becomes a go-to place for you so that you can share all this information. Uh, we're seeing a lot of firms, I've just clicked on the resource tab, the firm resource tab, a lot of firms are putting up their their, their documents, their policies and procedures, their, their templates, so that people can come to this site, download the template or download the workflow or download the process policy, whatever they need to complete a particular function. So we're, now we're seeing this web-based platform rather than, for example, having to go through a Citrix connection. So if I'm on the road, I can all working from home, I can just log into our firm profile and download a, a new client data sheet or I can just double check a policy on um, our credit policy, for example. So this intranet, this web-based intranet is replacing a lot of that traditional 
uh, server Windows server environment where we have to go through all these different uh, tree structures to try and find the particular document that we're looking for. So when we add a new resource, we give it the keywords, we give it a description, who should be using it so that people can find resources easily. So this is incredibly valuable, again, within uh, if you don't have an intranet already. And that's the beauty of it, it's free. Um, also, we can see, we can put what we are in terms of uh, out to lunch, in a meeting, on vacation, out sick, so we can update that so that everybody knows what's going on again. And as we move to a more flexible work environment, these are the types of features that are really helpful. Some firms are using Skype for something, and then uh, Citrix log me in to access their, their server drive. But you can see now that we're we're bringing all this information into one area, and if that's what we want to do, then uh, then that's this is iShade is is where you can do it. We'll want to come in and we'll want to manage our firm profile, and the reason that we want to do that is because there's an internal component to the firm profile, and then there's the external uh, external uh, component to the firm profile. And this is where we look at our firm keywords, so we might be entering our industry niches there, our profile image, our external firm profile is there. We start to add different office locations. Importantly, we look at our industry served, specialties, etc., etc. So again, people can start to find us more easily. This is what's really important. Is your firm a member of the 2020 group? and you want to say yes or no there, that'll take a couple of days just for us to verify. Uh, this is really important because we'll go and have a look at the iShade gateway very shortly, or the 2020 iShade, but this means that when people come looking for accountants, 2020 members are always first. So, let's, uh, let's ask a, a poll question just to make sure nobody's nodded off or popped out for a, for a caffeine break. Let's ask, will you, will you utilize the firm intranet? So let's open that and just answer that just to say either yes, great idea, no, we already have it, or if you are still unsure of what an intranet is, um, then, then just click that button as well. And fantastic to see a third of the audience has, uh, has a, a firm intranet. So that's really good. So we're looking about 50-50 and we can definitely help you set up that firm profile. In terms of a process, individual profile first, and then we go and create a firm profile, and then we add our members. So that's the process that we go through. So it looks as if 92% um, have voted. I will leave it open for a couple more seconds. But the manage members, add members, manage firm profile, all up the top there in that... Uh, that purple bar for managing the profile. So, folks, any questions? None have come through, but it looks uh, so. Hopefully, this is making sense. And I know the screen resolution isn't great, but there'll be a question at the end of the webinar to see if you want a one on one tour and we can go through these for yourselves. Let's just move on to the groups tab. This is all the groups that you're a member of. Um, and one of the, the good things, so for example, Damien Greathead. Uh, good-looking chap up there on the right-hand side. Uh, these are all the groups I'm a part of. So winning clients is everything. This is where we go and we share the resources from the winning clients is everything conference. You can see 2020 Group USA is one there. A great couple of groups that you do get uh, automatically um, added to are Tap the Eyeshade Faculty and practitioner to practitioner. So tap the eye shade fact faculty is where you can ask questions of specific consultants to the profession. So for example, if we go in and have a look at it, um, we can see different announcements. Uh, we can also see different discussion topics. And so for example, um, Joel Sinken, somebody asked the question, oh no, actually, Joel Sinken started this in response to have you ever been part of a merger or acquisition gone bad? So we can go in there and we can have a look and hopefully we can learn something from other professionals. That's the goal. We don't want to 
reinvent the wheel and we don't want to make the same uh, mistakes again. So you can go and read other people's experiences and learn from them. So that's the goal of this group section is that we can ask questions, we can either tap the eye shade faculty, let's go and have a very quick look at practitioner to practitioner and we've got nearly 14,000 members in there, so we've, we've got a really good information database. So there's a number of areas where you can go. You can go to the 2020 group and ask uh, 2020, so Chris or myself, uh, it might relate to something you heard on a webinar or in a seminar uh, or one of the resources. You could ask a question there. You could ask a question of other 2020 group members. Alternatively, you could go out to some of the um, leading consultants and thought leaders in the profession. Alternatively, you could ask some of your uh, some of your fellow practitioners and let's have a look at what's well the iShade administrator asked how do you feel about President Obama's last four years in office? I'd imagine there'll probably be uh, some contentious responses to that so we'll avoid that. Uh, what about recommend a good tax update webinar for CPE credits? We get this question a lot actually. So um, this is an opportunity to ask fellow practitioners what's a good tax update webinar with CPE credits and just see what the community comes back with. Um, and the good thing about it is that you can quickly scroll down the uh, discussion topics and you can just see what takes you fancy. That's the goal of the, the group section. Nothing catches your eye, then uh, you just keep moving on. Okay, moving on now to the resources tab. Let me just see if I've got any poll questions which are interesting? Not yet. The resources tab. So these are the resources available to the wider iShade community and there is some really valuable stuff here. So let's, uh, let's go and have a look. I just clicked on resources, tools and resources and what happens is most folks have just contributed their resources to, uh, to iShade. So here are the most recently updated resources and we saw some of those. What about most popular resources? Let's see what's there. So this interesting spotlight process, the Rosenberg map survey, always very popular. Uh, the practice development toolkit, so you can just go in and have a look at what are the most popular resources. Oh, social media for accountants, a startup guide by uh, your very own Chris Fredrickson. Who'd have thought that, hey? Apparently that's quite popular. So that's there. So that's on that most popular resource. But for example, I had an interesting email from a member last week that said, "Damien, we're looking at um, oh, what was it again? I think it was recruitment and retention. So, do you have any resources available on recruitment and retention? I was able to send them some 2020 resources, but then we just came into this search section, and what we're doing is we're just going to search all the resources." for anyone that has indicated it's a resource that helps with recruitment and retention. And lo and behold, here we have one, two, three, four, five different resources um, related to recruitment and retention. So hanging on to top talent transcript there, 10 steps to making succession a strategic process. Um, increase your firm's employment offer acceptance. So these are the resources that people have indicated uh, related to uh, recruitment and retention. Um, I know, for example, there are, a t let's go have a look at technology and see what's there. So 12 must have some maintaining a successful inbound marketing program where obviously some technology components, having a technology committee. So we can see that uh, different categories are going to have different amounts of information in there. But again, iShade becomes a resource for you. So if you are doing uh, team reviews or reviews or anything along those lines, just come to the resource section, tools and resources, and uh, just see what's available there. And you can also uh, identify favorite resources so you can always come back to them rather than having to search for them at the same time. Let's have a look at the referral tracker. This is uh, a nice little resource. Not a lot of firms have a referral, uh, referral tracker, I'll be honest, but if we are serious about monitoring our referrals, saying thank you for referrals, encouraging referrals, we've got to have some sort of referral tracker that tracks everything. Uh, and anyone that's a part of your firm can come in and enter 
uh, that they've got a referral. And so let's say, for example, we've got an outgoing referral, as in we've referred, and in this instance, um, we have referred Joan Jones, rather unfortunate name, we've referred that to Chris Fredrickson of ABC Estate Planning. We've indicated that it's about a, a, an estimated fee volume of $2,000 and at the moment this status is open. So when we hear from Chris Fredrickson to say we got the business or Chris Fredrickson closed that sale for example, we can then come over here and click successful. And I'll just wait for that to come up on your screen. We can enter any notes that we need to but we can come in to submit that and that just means we've tracked this referral that we gave to Chris Fredrickson. So for example, let's go over to the incoming referrals, exactly the same process. Incoming referral, let's just say that's come from uh, create a new individual, that's come from one of our uh, business clients, let's just call that Silk Road Enterprises. Um, we can create a new company, oh, sorry, the name is going to be John Jones. The company is going to be Silk Road uh, Enterprises. And we won't worry too much about spelling in this indicate. But the individual being referred, so let's just, for um, they're referring Joan Jones to us. Uh, and the company is that, uh, it's an individual actually. So estimated fee volume, it's just a nice individual return, so let's just put that in at $950. The type of service being uh, offered, just tax. Uh, we can put some notes in there. We'll call this open because we haven't closed it yet, so to speak. And then we can indicate whether or not we've said thank you or not uh, to that person. So let's just assume it has been successful and we've said thank you and we wrote that note to say thank you to, uh, to John Jones for the referral. Again, it just allows us to track everything because if we're serious about asking for more referrals, we've got to have some sort of mechanism by which we can track that. So we can then come into this reporting section and we can see the different referrals that have happened and you can see also that if, uh, well, in this instance the, the, the thank you note's not appropriate because this was, uh, was going out. But if somebody is responsible for writing thank you cards to referrals, they can come in here and just check what they need to, to update appropriately. So we can export the report, print the report. Again, just a nice little tool that I haven't seen before actually. And we can edit the individuals, we can edit the companies um, as we need to. So we can add, edit, etc. So that referral tracker is a really nice tool. So let's just get some feedback Let's just get some feedback and say, I've asked, will you use the referral tracker? But just say, do you think the referral tracker is a good idea? Yes, no, maybe. We don't necessarily need to commit to, uh, to using it, but let's just see if, if you think it's a good idea and we can get that feedback back to iShade. Interestingly, uh, one person said no. And that's okay, um, as long as you've got some sort of system already in place to track, uh, to track those referrals, just to make sure we're always saying thank you, if, if nothing else. Uh, and also, when we go and do our 80-20 analysis, or uh, some firms, we, we have seen some firms where they might go out and uh, condense their, who they spend their, refer, their time from a referral standpoint with. So if I've got a list of 30 bankers or a list of 10 bankers, who are the top three bankers that I need to be spending more time with? Who are the top three estate planning attorneys that I need to be spending more time with? And again, that's what the referral track is all about, just to help us. 2020 Gateway is the next one. And this is, again, a benefit of premium membership. Let's close that poll, thank you very much. Uh, for people's uh, feedback, but for example, if we are looking um, for uh, where a, a CPA firm in California, we want some help with Ohio taxes, um, and let's just see who comes up first. And we can see that we've got 2020 members uh, on the right-hand side here. So these will always come up first 
when searching for another another member. So it's it's quite useful if you're looking for members around the world. Alternatively, if members around the world are actually looking for you. So that's why we've got to indicate that we're a 2020 member on our firm profile. Let's have a look at the UK. We've got a client in the UK. So again, this really helps you because uh, if your client comes to you and says, uh, Damien, do you guys have any members in the UK because we're doing some business there, but uh, we want to make sure that your firm has capabilities in the UK. And lo and behold, we've got a, a great set of uh, clients in the UK that you can then go and check out. And when you click on one of those, it goes to their external firm profile, so you can get in there and contact this firm, contact Harvey, uh, and, and go from there. So the 2020 Gateway is a way that you can connect with other 2020 members around the country and around the world. And it's also a way in which other members of iShade can find 2020 members. And the beauty of the 2020 members is we're all small, medium-sized accounting firms that are all committed to helping their clients. Uh, more often than not, clients feel as though they've got to go bigger to a, a, a BDO or, or maybe a Grant Thornton to get that international relationship. Uh, whereas now you can actually say, no, we're a part of 2020, we've got members all around the world, where were you looking to do business in? And you can come into this resources section, go to the 2020 gateway, and, uh, and away you go. Let's have another poll because we've got to make sure for NASBA that uh, you're paying attention. And this is just a quick one. As a 2020 premium member, is it a benefit to be listed in the directory so other accountants can find you? You have the option to opt out, but uh, we want to make sure again that we're on the right track and giving you benefits uh, that that uh, that are available to you. Not to say that you'll be inundated with, uh, with referrals from other accountants, but a, another great way that accountants can find you. So that's what we're trying to build here. And uh, no surprises, 100% have said yes. So good feedback there. Uh, the last resource which we'll go to, and we're coming up on our final, um, so I'd get in and have a look at some of those other re resources. Uh, but the last one that I want to show you is, now I've got to close the poll, oh, no, close the poll. Uh, the last one that I want to show you is this Ask the Expert one. I think once a week or twice a week, depending on the week, they have different Q&A sessions where they open up uh, a, an expert, uh, puts themselves, uh, makes themselves available so that people can come online between 10 and 12, for example, and ask questions uh, related to a particular topic. So. Um, let's look at, well, the most recent one was in December 17, and that was hosted by Ron Baker, uh, Pricing on Purpose. So we're, of it, we're huge fans of Ron's work, so let's go and have a look at the transcript um, to, let's go and have a look at the transcript of that conversation. So here's what the, the, the main... Um, uh, the main session was about. Now, it's not a webinar. It's just an opportunity for you to come and ask questions. So, for example, um, how do you respond to a customer? Paul Hayden asks, how do you respond to a customer who says, I don't know what these services are worth? That's a question that we always have in, in our seminars. And it allows us to come in and see what Ron's response to that was. I'm not suggesting you ask the customer what services are worth. You have to have a discussion with them, help them articulate the impact of your services, and ultimately your prices have to infer the value. So you can see what Ron Baker's response to Paul Hayden Paul's question was. Now, you'll get an email to indicate which... Uh, um, ask the expert question, ask the expert panelists are coming up. But again, this is just a great way that we can tap in to this enormous pool of, of, um, of, of, of information and of, of educated and experienced practitioners. So, anonymous user asks, is the trend to move to fixed fee pricing? 
Fixed fee pricing has been around for a long time, especially for audits, but a fixed fee is not a value price. It's usually estimated hours in advance fixed into a price. More and more firms are offering fixed prices, but I want them to move beyond that and price the customer, not just the time it takes for the services. So just Ron's feedback, if I wanted to, to post a response there, to start a conversation, we can do that. Um, so that is the uh, the the ask the expert section, and they have them on a regular basis uh, on technical issues, on business development issues, and you can see that uh, we've got a number there, and there's a, a ton of great information that if you're asking that question, I'm I'm pretty confident that someone else is also wanting to ask that question. So we can go in and uh, go in and, and search for those, and again, just really quickly tap in to some of the best information that's out there. So, folks, that will that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, we can also go to the blogs. That's the next tab there, uh, and we can see what the latest blog posts are. We've got a featured blog, and we can browse all the blogs. And then the marketplace. This is where uh, some of the providers can go into. Um, can go into and create their profile so that if you're looking for, let's just say, online backup. And we can see, for example, we've got a number of uh, providers out there. So we can do some research. Uh, none of them have got any ratings yet, but we can just do some research just to find out who has indicated that they are a provider of online backup services. So, Tim asks, do you have to be part of an additional group of 2020 International, or if you are part of 2020, will you show up in the search screen? Uh, the answer is yes. The answer is, if you are a part of 2020, you will show up in the search screen. And we're just fine-tuning that because, honestly, it, it's um, a membership of 2020 Group USA means you're a part of our international organization so that other members can find you. So that is uh, uh, an important part there. So you will always come up in those sections. But again, you've got to make sure that you selected that. Did you, uh, did you, are you a member of 2020? And we have to approve that. So just to make sure you are in, in full standing. So folks, that is the last uh, area that I wanted to cover. Uh, what I, now, here's an interesting thing. I uh, just went to the dashboard, and Jeff has requested to join my firm. Jeff's not a member of my firm, so I can decline that. What I'd encourage you to do is, is for Jeff to make sure he's a part of the 2020 group, make sure he's a part of my network. But because Jeff's not a part of my firm, uh, we don't do, uh, I would not be accepting that request. So I'm assuming you're on the call at the moment, Jeff, don't be offended that I don't add you, but because you're not a member of my firm, I don't accept you because I will be sharing with my firm um, the, the, uh, the, the information, the internal information for us. So if you're on the call, you want to make sure you're a member of the 2020 group, the 2020 premium group, and then you also want to make sure that your, pr your profile and your firm profile have indicated that you're a 2020 member. That's what's really important uh, to get within the, uh, the 2020 gateway search area. So folks, I will open up my last poll question. This is more for, for my uh, information. And I'm just asking, would you like to do a one-on-one -on -one tour of iShade just for you and your firm and ask your very specific questions? It'll take about 30 minutes, but that might just be a way in which we can get, get you up to speed. And um, I've just launched it. We'll just leave it open there just to wait for any questions to come through. If you would like me to do a one-on-one -on -one session with you, then... Oh, I haven't launched it. Sorry. If you would like me to do a one-on-one -on -one session with you and just get you... Uh, up and running, then then please take advantage of that, and I'll get in contact with you uh, a little bit later. We've got our SoCal focus group tomorrow, so probably Thursday or Friday. But iShade is a great resource, folks, and I would really encourage you to get in there, build your profile, tap into the, the resources that are available, and as I said, there's just a ton of people that have contributed um, some great intellectual property. So use this as something that you can be uh, as, as a, a, a research point that you can find what others have contributed to the, uh, to the community. So it doesn't look like there are any more questions. This webinar was recorded, so if you have indicated yes, you want a one-on-one, -on -one, 
I will uh, I'll give you a call Thursday, Friday, and we'll set up a time and we'll get you up and running. Just keep your eyes out for more information on uh, iShade and any questions, shoot them through, uh, email them to us, and again, just get involved, get get uh, become a part of it, and you'll see very quickly that it does become a great resource. So folks, I will sign off and say thank you very much for your time. Look forward to uh, our next webinar, uh, and that's on Thursday morning, and uh, I'm going to manage polls. Hang on, have I closed it? Yeah, uh, our next uh, webinar is on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time when we're talking about understanding selling in practice. Um, really popular topic it looks like because uh, there are so many selling opportunities coming into tax season. So make sure you join us for that, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. PST, uh, California time. Register for the individual webinars. We're not doing the, uh, the groups. And look out for that email for CPE. Look forward to seeing you online. As I said, any questions, please send them through. And folks, thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful afternoon.